Ok, let's download some music, and of course the purpose isn't for listening it local, but for using it on our videos! Cause let me share you some knowledge I acquired after years of messing up with music copyrights! First we can use small parts of any audio, like 7 seconds, without troubles! <gasps> But then again, we need bigger parts, so we go with copyright free, or we pay for royalties, or we might compose our own tunes, and lately machine learning music is also gaining attraction. But although Ivid AI creates a unique tune for every composition, they actually copyright the output, which brings us to one of the biggest upcoming questions in technology. Can machine learning artwork be legally copyrighted? And to whom? But regardless what music you'll choose to use, Sometimes you want to trigger emotions to your audience by reminiscing. So you don't care for the original, but for the familiar. And to achieve that, one way is to use gaming music. Because everyone was gaming at some point of their lives. Let's see what the theory is that people are streaming video look, games, so companies allow them to monetize those, and everyone wins. Oh, fuck, Except the times you're about to die by a shadow. Do you notice though that this kind of music is still not under some creative common license allowing to reuse it? But most importantly, even if the initial YouTube copyrights checking will be successful, the music might get a content ID years later, so your videos can get ineligible for monetization, or even become completely restricted for playback. Time to move on to the actual content, and it is up to you what you gonna do next with your channel's music. Just know this. On any movie, the audio always matters more than the video. And for this demo I'm going to download the Undertale OSD, but it's the Genshin Impact that is really great. Especially for emo videos. So, we there. With 101 items. And all we gonna do is to copy the playlist ID. Then, in our file manager with the light theme, that I hadn't seen for ages, we gonna create an Undertale folder inside music for keeping everything clean and tidy. Sound effects addiction maybe? Next, we're going to download the full playlist with the YouTube DL, or more correctly with the DLP that is basically a fork that currently works better. Oh well, hyphen X, for extracting audio only. Audio format. Perhaps MP3? And by default is looking for the best quality available. Now, because DLP will attach in the end of a file name and unique ID, just in case two items have the same name, we only want to get to the file name together with the file extension. So basically we ask to output the title that is a string, and concatenate this with the extension string, and nothing more. And finally we'll paste the playlist. And wait! Shouldn't be that long! After download completes, if we put our album to a music player, for example to Amberall, we'll see that we're missing the metadata, and that isn't very helpful if we want to perform a search or something, plus it looks ugly. So we'll need to do some additional work. First of, notice a bit the file name of the songs. It always starts with Undertale OSD, then there is a hyphen, then the track number followed by another hyphen, and in the end is the actual song name. That's almost already fine, but what I would like to do is a simple rename and remove the second hyphen. Possibly remove the space before the hyphen too, and replace all together with a dot. But the problem is that the search and replace in files doesn't support regular expressions, so we can't do much. And what's more crazy? There was a merge request that was adding regular expression support two years back, but it is marked as closed. Of course there is always a reasoning, but there is always the debate too. So if you're asking me, renaming without regex support is basically a garbage. You can remove the whole renaming widget and still you won't miss much. But desperate times call for desperate measures, so I tried krenamer because I couldn't find a GNOME relevant app. But as almost every app that starts from k, it simply didn't work. I think it reads the expression input wrong, or at least it prints gibberish on save. Anyway, we'll leave the name as it is for now, because I want to show you one pretty cool app for quickly editing our song's metadata. The application is called Tagger, and obviously you'll find it on Flathub. But quite far from obviously, it is written on C++. Anywho, let's operate, 
and we'll start by loading the Undertale folder. Now, if we click on a song a sidebar will open with the song info. But if we press Ctrl A we can select all songs together and do multi operations. And one smart feature is that the app can grab the file name, and convert it to a tag, that later will pass to the metadata. Typically it also gives us some simple patterning. For example first is the artist's name, then a hyphen in the song title. It gives some more options, but everything would be better if we could edit the file names previously. Fortunately on this case we're good enough, so let's OK. And done! So now we see that each song has a proper title already. But we can fix some more things. So let's select everything again, and let's set an album for making our music players happier. And perhaps we'll change the artist too, from Undertale OSC to Undertale. And apply! Oh, the last thing left to do is to set the album cover. Meanwhile we could also download the data from Music Brains if the album was there. Anyway, just going with adding the cover art that I've already downloaded when you ain't looking. Testing? Here it is! And apply! The favorite button of KDE users. And after 6 minutes of drama, conspiracy, and unexpected turn of events, it is time to taste the fruits of our labor. In the meantime, such videos put the channel on a great risk. So if you are a true baby woke hater, this is the best moment to report us under the community guidelines, and hopefully a Google employee will shut us down. But we'll come back! And I fancy this small girl's talking tech name. 